I would say that the single most valuable thing that you can do to enhance your career, both in terms of leadership and in terms of business development, is asking for feedback from the people around you. One of the things that I recommend to my clients is to ask 10 people, people from their business life, people from their personal life, to give feedback on a variety of questions. Everything from, what do you see as my strengths? To, obviously, what do you see as weaknesses? To other more general questions, such as, what do people know about me? And is there anything you've ever wanted to say to me that you felt uncomfortable saying, but you'd like to communicate now? I have a whole list of questions, but the specifics aren't that important. You can come up with uh, your, your own questions, certainly. The value, there's value to asking for feedback on a lot of different levels. Usually when people think about asking for feedback, they're thinking in terms of finding out information they don't know about how to fix themselves. Now, that's one piece of it, certainly. Typically, if you're asking people for feedback about yourself, 80 to 90% of what they say, you will already know. However, that doesn't mean it's not useful. First of all, there's the 10 to 20% that is valuable that you didn't know. For example, the first time I did this, well, not the first time, but one of the times that I did this exercise myself, years ago, back when I had a normal job, I went to my boss and I sat down and interviewed her, asked her a whole series of questions. My biggest fear was that she was going to tell me that I wasn't working hard enough. But when I asked her what she thought were areas that I could improve, she said that I spoke like a teenager and that she wanted to use me to uh, communicate with other departments and that that was something that she didn't quite feel comfortable with because of the way I spoke. Now this was huge news to me because that wasn't on my radar at all as something that I should be improving. I was thinking she thought I should work more hours, but no, she was worried about my tone of voice and whether I said like frequently enough. Very often when you have these conversations, someone will say something that hadn't occurred to you at all. So obviously that kind of feedback is valuable. But feedback that are, but positive feedback is also quite valuable. It may sound silly or it may sound strange to say that hearing positive feedback is helpful, but there's a couple reasons for this. The first is that most of us aren't really clear about what's great about ourselves. Now, <laughs> some people may seem arrogant or something like that. It's not about uh, you know, putting yourself on a pedestal or anything like that. It's about understanding what your own individual contribution is. Someone says, you're really thoughtful. You know you're thoughtful. But when 10 people say, you are a really considerate person or you have really great insights, you start to realize that this is something special about you. And the more you can understand what's special about you, what's a contribution that you have that the lawyer down the hall might not have, the more effective you're going to be in marketing yourself and the more effectively you're going to be able to use those natural strengths. Now, understanding that getting feedback is valuable is one thing, but actually overcoming the fear of the negative feedback in order to go out and have these conversations, I recognize that's a different thing. So I have a couple things to say to people who are concerned about having these conversations. First of all, just having the conversation opens the door for a whole new level of relationship. Sometimes people are going to be reluctant and they won't actually give you much feedback at the time. But then, a month later, 
they'll share some personal story with you or they'll provide some other information or they start recognizing that you are really up for leadership and as a result give you more opportunities. So there's a whole range of possibilities that can come out of uh, having these conversations. The other thing is almost all the time the vast majority of the feedback is really positive. In my observation, working with clients on this, I think I have never actually had a client who wasn't really happy to have had these conversations because they inevitably come back and when they report on the conversations to me, they are moved and touched by how much people care about them and how much of a contribution they are and how how, how glad people are to have them in their lives, in their offices.